Gone is all my debt of sin, a great change is brought within, and to live I now begin, risen from the fall. Yet the debt I did not pay, someone died for me one day. Sweeping all the dead away, Jesus paid it all. Jesus died and paid it on the cross of Calvary. And my heart was melted at his dying call. Oh, his heart was broken on the tree for you and me. And the dead is canceled, Jesus paid it all. Oh, I hope to please him now, my deep joy is all my brow as at his dear feet i bow safe within his love making his the dead i owe freedom true he has bestowed so i'm singing on the road to my home above. Jesus died and paid it on the cross of Calvary, and my heart was melted at his dying call. Oh, his heart was broken, on the tree for you and me and the debt is cancelled jesus paid it all sinner not for me alone did the son of god atone your debt to he made his own on the cruel tree. Come to him with all your sin. Be as white as snow within. Full salvation you may win and rejoice with me. Winston, no. Care brought all that up. We're going to be traveling soon. Don't throw anything down. Oh, wow. Jesus died and paid it on the cross of Calvary, and my heart was melted at his dying call. Oh, his heart was broken on the tree for you and me and the debt is cancelled jesus paid it all winston no winston no put it back as you can see some of my grandchildren are up and out this is winston say good morning that's sophie say good morning hi everybody Anyway, we're up earlier this morning as we're getting ready to, to leave today and packing up. And Kara brought up most of the things from downstairs and tried to keep them from throwing it all back down, as toddlers will do. So we are continuing in the Proverbs, um, and we are picking up in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. Um, again, we're hearing Solomon speaking to uh sharing with us how he talks to his son um 
wisdom for a successful and happy life. And he starts today with talking about wisdom calling for a hearing. Listen as wisdom calls out. Hear as understanding raises her voice. She stands on the hilltop and at the crossroads. At the entrance to the city, at the city gate, she cries aloud. I call to you, to all of you. I am raising my voice to all people. How naive you are. Let me give you common sense. Oh, foolish ones, let me give you understanding. Listen to me, for I have excellent things to tell you. Everything I say is right, for I speak the truth and hate every kind of deception. My advice is wholesome and good. There is nothing crooked or twisted in it. My words are plain to anyone with understanding, clear to those who want to learn. Choose my instruction rather than silver, and knowledge over pure gold. For wisdom is far more valuable than rubies. Nothing you desire can be compared with it. I, wisdom, live together with good judgment. I know where to discover knowledge and discernment. All who fear the Lord will hate evil. That is why I hate pride, arrogance, corruption, and perverted speech. Good advice and success belong to me. Insight and strength are mine. Because of me, kings reign and rulers make just laws. Rulers lead with my help and nobles make righteous judgments. I love all who love me. Those who search for me will surely find me. Unending riches, honor, wealth, and justice are mine to distribute. My gifts are better than the purest gold. My wages better than sterling silver. I walk in righteousness, in paths of justice. Those who love me inherit wealth, for I fill their treasuries. The Lord formed me from the beginning, before he created anything else. I was appointed in ages past, at the very first, before the earth began. I was born before the oceans were created, before the springs bubbled forth their waters, before the mountains and hills were formed, I was born. Before he had made the earth and the fields and the first handfuls of soil, I was there when he established the heavens, when he drew the horizon on the oceans. I was there when he set the clouds above, when he established the deep fountains of the earth. I was there when he set the limits of the seas so they would not spread beyond their boundaries. And when he marked off the earth's foundations, I was the architect by his side. I was his constant delight, rejoicing always in his presence. And how happy I was with what he created, his wide world, and all the human family. And so my children, listen to me, for happy are all who follow my ways. Listen to my counsel and be wise. Don't ignore it. Happy are those who listen to me, watching for me daily at my gates, waiting for me outside my home. For whoever finds me, finds life, and wins approval from the Lord. But those who miss me have injured themselves. All who hate me love death. Wisdom has built her spacious house with seven pillars. She has prepared a great banquet mix the wines, and set the table. She has sent her servants to invite everyone to come. She calls out from the heights overlooking the city. Come home with me, she urges the simple. To those without good judgment, she says, Come, eat my food, and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your foolish ways behind, and begin to live. Learn how to be wise. Anyone who rebukes a mocker will get a smart retort. Anyone who rebukes the wicked will get hurt. So don't bother rebuking mockers. They will only hate you. But the wise, when rebuked, will love you all the more. Teach the wise and they will be wiser. Teach the righteous and they will learn more. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in understanding. Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. 
If you become wise, you will be the one to benefit. If you scorn wisdom, you will be the one to suffer. Folly calls for a hearing, beginning in Proverbs 9, verse 13. The woman named Folly is loud and brash. She is ignorant and doesn't even know it. She sits in her doorway on the heights overlooking the city. She calls out to men going by who are minding their own business. Come home with me, she urges the simple. To those without good judgment, she says, stolen water is refreshing. Food eaten in secret tastes the best. But the men don't realize that our former guests are now in the grave. The Proverbs of Solomon, beginning in Proverbs 10, verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise child brings joy to a father. A foolish child brings grief to a mother. Ill-gotten gain has no lasting value, but right living can save your life. The Lord will not let the godly starve to death but he refuses to satisfy the craving of the wicked. Lazy people are soon poor. Hard workers get rich. A wise youth works hard all summer. A youth who sleeps away the hour of opportunity brings shame. The godly are showered with blessings. Evil people cover up their harmful intentions. We all have happy memories of the godly but the name of a wicked person rots away. The wise are glad to be instructed, but babbling fools fall flat on their faces. People with integrity have firm footing, but those who follow crooked paths will slip and fall. People who wink at wrong cause trouble, but a bold reproof promotes peace. The words of the godly lead to life. Evil people cover up their harmful intentions. Hatred stirs up quarrels, but love covers all offenses. Wise words come from the lips of people with understanding, but fools will be punished with a rod. Wise people treasure knowledge, but the babbling of a fool invites trouble. The wealth of the rich is their fortress. The poverty of the poor is their calamity. The earnings of the godly enhance their lives. But evil people squander their money on sin. People who accept correction are on the pathway to life, but those who ignore it will lead others astray. To hide hatred is to be a liar. To slander is to be a fool. Don't talk too much, for it fosters sin. Be sensible and turn off the flow. The words of the godly are like sterling silver. The heart of a fool is worthless. The godly give good advice, but fools are destroyed by their lack of common sense. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Doing wrong is fun for a fool, while wise conduct is a pleasure to the wise. The fears of the wicked will all come true. So will the hopes of the godly. Disaster strikes like a cyclone, whirling the wicked away, but the godly have a lasting foundation. Lazy people are a pain to their employer. They are like smoke in the eyes or vinegar that sets the teeth on edge. Fear of the Lord lengthens one's life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. The hopes of the godly result in happiness, but the expectations of the wicked are all in vain. The Lord protects the upright, but destroys the wicked. The godly will never be disturbed, but the wicked will be removed from the land. The godly person gives wise advice, but the tongue that deceives will be cut off. The godly speak words that are helpful, but the wicked speak only what is corrupt. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So our second hymn this morning is Jesus the Very Thought of Thee. Hope you take a deep breath and sing along with me. Jesus, the very thought of thee, with sweetness fills my breast. But sweeter for thy face to see, 
and in thy presence rest. Nor voice can sing, nor heart can frame, nor can the memory find a sweeter sound than thy blessed name, O Savior of mankind. O hope of every contrite heart, O joy of all the meek, to those who fall, how kind thou art, how good to those who seek. Jesus, our only joy, be thou, as thou our prize will be. Jesus, be thou our glory now and through eternity. Wow, what a different morning this morning than yesterday, right? It was so noisy. I see. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Janie. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Good morning, Jim and Peggy. Good morning, Shirley. Good morning, Patty. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Appreciate prayers for uh, safety as we begin making our trek back to Tennessee. And I'll see y'all back tomorrow morning at 8.